Today I just want to share something I feel like the Lord was showing me just yesterday and I was reading. Um, I'm in the Gospels, you know, and I'm in Matthew. And I'm just reading what the Lord is teaching. And, it, and all of a sudden it just dawned on me. I'm like, I'm getting to read what Jesus said. You know what I mean? Like, we we get to see what he said. I mean, I don't know. For some reason, I never really thought about it before, but it's a big deal. And I remember this passage, John 6, 68 and 69. Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And it's like this, like, if you believe Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, how precious are his words to you? You know what I mean? How precious is it to see and know what he said? And and isn't it crazy that we have this access to that? I mean, the Lord still speaks to us personally. Not, maybe not every day, but there's moments, you know, where you hear it clearly. But anytime you want to hear the Lord... All you got to do is open the Bible, you know, and you can see his words. And, 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 and even though we can see exactly what he said, Jesus said when he was in the flesh on earth, anything we read all throughout the Bible from Genesis all the way to Revelation, the testimony of it all is about Jesus. Jesus says to the Pharisees, you know, if you believed Moses, you would believe me because they Moses testified of me. So all the law and the prophets is a testimony about Jesus, who he is, who God is. So it's important to understand this access that we have and to be able to say with Peter, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We should have nowhere else to turn. You know, there was a moment when this, this scripture came alive to me and it was just like, I, I really had nowhere else to go. I only could turn to Jesus. He had the words. He speaks the word of God. He is the word of God. Everything that God is, is manifested through Jesus Christ. All the promises of God are yes and amen in Him. So let's look at Him. Let's adore Him. Let's adore the words that He spoke. Let's get back in the Gospels and see what He taught and live it. Let's live it. He speaks the words of eternal life. This testimony that Peter spoke of him, we he he was with him for three years and then had to leave, and he just had to remember what Jesus said. We can look anytime and see what Jesus said. Let's do that. Amen.